Howdy, 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 my name is Anacha Sasuke, and welcome back to Let's Read Prelude. In the last episode, uh, Mason Whip made a whole lot of plans to try to get back at Grun, and I don't think they've happened yet. It looks like it's probably going to happen in the next batch of Mason Whip, uh, I was going to say episodes, not episodes, pages. So it looks like, it looks like when Mason Whip go to sleep, it jumps over to Lilith and Nama. But when they go to sleep, it jumps back to Mason Whip. Unless this page is going to be more Mason Whip stuff, and then I should have just kept going. Okay, I should have just kept going. My bad. Um. So I was thinking to, co thinking to cover our tracks. What if we wrote a runaway note for Grun? Then nobody will think that maybe we catapulted him. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really a question of if we can think of a good reason. More like, which one do we choose? Dear world, or sorry, dear world, I'm Grun and I ran off because I'm an idiot and I hate everything and nobody likes me and I live on a stinky dock and my boat is broken and all the orphans are smarter than me and I'm fat and ugly and... Holy crap, why hasn't he run off yet? Reshnikin! <laughs> um, I think it will be literally impossible to not go to a better place from here. Although he isn't that big on running now that I think about it. Fair, sure play, why? Nyama. Or Nyamra. Yeah, can you believe Grun missed the point so bad? I'd never even think of pushing you around. <laughs> she? Huh? Oh, oh, nothing. You're, you're a good friend, Whip. Okay, so... My theory of when they go to sleep it jumps places is wrong? Unless it's not wrong and I just... Jump the gun there, or jump the grunt, as it were. Oh, uh, what a great morning! Look at that clear, open, fresh horizon. It's just begging to have grunt launched into it. Soon, all the components will be in place, and my tail's almost dry. Come on, Whip, we just have to get Vi to. Eh! No! Breakfast can wait! Whip! The mission! Whip! Duty! Eh! Where's your dedication? <laughs> you'd, you'd better be rallying the troops down there when I get back. <sighs> Can't believe he ditched me. I have to do all the talking myself. Hey Vi, your problems are solved. I got spell it. Ah, stop! I just need you. To... Every letter now. Okay, okay, just stop. Oh, I don't hear any letters, and this is real heavy. Ah, uh, P, R, I, V. Yeah, let me in. What is Vi surrounded by? Privacy. He's spelling A. S S. Do you really have to throw things at me every time I come to visit? I throw things at everyone who doesn't knock. By the way, you gotta go pick up my stuff. But you don't have a door! And I don't have all day. You better start picking up if you want to give me your spiel. Man, can you believe... Can you guys believe Mace's latest plan? Yeah, it's something else, alright. You never can tell what he's going to think up. <laughs> it's just amazing, really. It's a good thing we're all in agreement on this. I wouldn't want to be the only one ditching this disaster. Yeah, Mace can get into trouble alone. Well, him and Whip. <laughs> Pets don't count. This conversation couldn't wait until breakfast. Breakfast? Out in the public? Duh, this is top secret stuff. You've already told everyone else, haven't you? Yeah... Um... Well, you'd be in the loop too if you came to the secret meeting like you're supposed to. Right. On top of everything else, I had homework to do, Mace. Homework? Why even bother? What's the worst that could happen from ignoring stupid school? The worst that could... Just take a look at Grun! Which brings me to my next topic. So all you have to do is construct the launching arm and... No, no, no! Ugh. What are you crazy, Mace? Well, I... I was just... I've got enough to do to keep the freaking docks together without tearing them up for harebrained schemes. Besides, which which Grun would totally. Besides, which Grun would. To, okay, well. Besides, which Grun would to, go totally ballistic when. But that's supposed to happen. He's supposed to. He's gonna be launched and. No, Mace, I mean, it won't work. It's a crap idea, okay? Okay. Mace, I'm not trying to hurt your fist. I'm fine. Your ears are pointed at the floor. Major problem, Whip. 
Don't let the guys know. I don't want to crush their spirits, but... <laughs> Fair. Um... I think I must be delirious with disappointment. I could have sworn you just said... Fair. Yeah, sure I way. What? All of them? She... <laughs> Somewhere, someone is holding a committee on how to ruin my day and it's working! If this game's up, I might as well just go to school today! Boy, whip, I sure love dictatorships! Let's go give Grunt an award! I'm sure, I'm sure glad he's around! Perish a thought of things ever changing! I've got an idea, Whip! Let's go make plans to get rid of us so all our smart friends will do the right thing and rush to his support! Slam. Huh. You hear that, God? You guys hear that? Now we won't have to back out on Mace after- Gorse, could you please just- Well, I don't suppose you could. Meanwhile, she seems to be fixing things. Uh, is she in the actual comic, or... Well, I don't want to say actual comic, because this is an actual comic, but... I don't know, some of these characters look like... I feel like I should have seen them in, act in Dreamkeepers proper, but haven't, and I'm concerned that maybe something happened to them. Be a fashion designer. Tinsel exclusive, week-long fashion camp, only 2300 Lucre. Ugh, what time is- Alright, Grun, here's the deal. I've been doing all the repairs and patch jobs around here for years. Storm damage, rotting planks, tantrum aftermath, floorboards, sanding, sawing nails, everything. I think it's only reasonable to expect financial compensation for all future services, Kate. Uh-huh. Nah, we ain't gonna be doing that. Come on! I'm not asking for much, you know, especially considering your bander profits. If you won't pay, then I won't work. Yeah, well, yeah, ain't nothing broke, so I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. It'll be pretty hard to cross if I haven't fixed it. Here you are! I've been looking all over the place for you, Mace. What, for me? The kid with stupid ideas? Don't talk like that. Actually, I was kind of wondering how your plans are coming along. Coming along? The trip is over, everyone decided to abandon me, and you think I'm dumb and... Me Me with. And breakfast was terrible, and I'll never figure out how to build the shark pulp by myself. Grun can get away with everything forever. I'm not smart enough- I'm not smart enough to stop him. And he's the dumbest grown up I know. Mace, you can't give up. Your idea could use some work, but I mean, Grun deserves it so much. Think about how horrible he treats you and how he makes everyone slave and toil for him, and how he doesn't even get us adopt- help us get adopted, and I mean, he tied you to the mast up in the cold and let you yell for half the night. You've earned your revenge. You can't let this opportunity go. Well, yeah, but... If you could hear me out on the mast all night, how come you didn't come... How come you didn't help to... <laughs> That's not important right now. Let's stay focused. Now, about your revenge plan. I guess that'd be alright. You really think it'll work better? Well, it's simpler and you wouldn't need help from the other guys, so yeah, definitely. Is that how definitely is spelled? Uh, definitely? Okay. Cool! But, well, could you show me which part of the docks to use and maybe help me with pulling the right nails or... I don't know, Mace. I don't want to risk Grun catching me and there'd be so much to fix afterwards. It'd be more trouble than, than you could imagine. Yeah, but we really need you, Vi. I don't know how to do any of that. What if, what if I helped, I don't know, hold your tools for you and stuff? No offense, but you wouldn't be much help, Mace. Well, I guess you could- No, forget it. It'd be a big favor to ask- What is it? We can do it, what do you need? Well, I might be able to handle the hard part for you if you could just run a quick- Run me a quick errand. See, I'd like some things I'd rather not have Grun pick up. Like... A, well, a girl my age need, starts to need certain accessories and- Oh yeah, skirts! Let's not broadcast it or anything, but I could really use a- Decent... A nice bra. You're giving me a blank look, Mace. You do know what... Perfect. Let, well, let's see if we can't convey this without steamrolling your innocence. Well, it goes under a girl's shirt and holds up... The, I mean, it wraps around with straps that lead to the cups, which... Ugh, okay, it insinuates the figure... For girls, I mean... And encourages complimentary attention for socialization purposes... 
it indicates shape in the clothing, especially when... You know what? You know, not everyone necessarily already... <sighs> those things you steal to use as slingshots. Oh, those? I've got a few stashed. Are you slinging rocks or pebbles? But couldn't you just make one yourself? You make clothes and stuff, just cut one out. It's more complicated than that. I can't just hack one out of scrap fabric. It has to have the proper wire support, be a more shape retensive material, have sufficient padding. Padding? What are you padding for? What, is it a crime to want to look my age a little? Excuse me, but the fabulous flat chested by a sick of getting overlooked and mistaken for a boy. And since I can never afford any desire labels, how am I supposed to attract boy guys without a ruler for a torso? Meh? Why Rania? Yeah, how can stuffing attract guys into you? Is it supposed to cushion the impact or Enough! Go! Go! Got it! I can't believe how great Vi is. We just nab one little thing for her, and she does all the engineering for our entire prank. Master Ed, this, this is probably going to just go so bad. Just think of all the planning and hammering and prying and sawing and testing and calculating and constructing she's taking care of. I can't believe she's doing so much work for us. Eh, that took like two seconds. The market will, will have to be good enough for today. If we, if we took a water car to the tower, the tower mall, first off, we'd have to pay... And besides that, someone would want to know why we're not in... Huh. My hoodie can't even get all the way over my head. Maybe I should just cut the hood off so I have a really good sweater. Eh. Yeah, I guess it does complement the sleeve lining. Good point. That's not... <laughs> if I sure picked the right orphans for, for nabbing slings... Uh, um, for nabbing bras, nobody's as sneaky and stealthy as us. We're the smartest, most cleverest thieves around. We always get away with everything. Almost. It's like nobody even notices us. Nah, for that, but why? Yeah, you're right. We can't just grab any old bra. These are all used. Why does there's a brand new bra? It'll be tough liberating one from a store, but I know we can do it. Shara! I mean, just look at some of these. Some of these. That one's worn so thin you can see right through it. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Nah, Gwen, you fur blah. Huh? No, not not now. Wait till later. Come on, let's go. Fair. Run, you nah, fur Well, too bad. We've got stuff to do, so you're just gonna have to hang tight, whip. Fine. Like, well, I need another patch in this sleeve. We'll go find some food. Cripes. Hey, Mr. Wally, you got any leftovers? Oh, uh, hi there, kid. I can't afford to just give this stuff out, though. Oh, but we're orphans. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Just grab some food from your bake sale down the way. My what? What? Yeah, they're holding a bake sale for orphans. That's you, right? Why doesn't anyone tell us these things? <laughs> wow, all that's for us? We'll take it. Yeah. Hey, wait. Oh, it's that lady. Wait a minute, you you have to pay for this? You can't just... But we're the orphans! It's our bake sale! Read the sign! Oh, well, this is a fundraiser sale to raise, raise awareness and lobbying money for... Well, I tell you what, I suppose we could... Oh, you idiots, the ones who, who left us tied up? How'd you think feeding other people is going to help us, you ninny? Gimme! Now, wait a second! Okay, so, money. You have to give that to a... To a board... So that we can make a formal inquest into conditions that you feed other people, give the money to a bunch of board members, and you really think that's going to help us deal with Grun. These board members, do they carry axes? No, of course not. That would... Too bad. Good luck wasting your time and stuff. But I thought you wanted some... Ha! <laughs> that couldn't have been easier. She was giving it away. When did he even actually... Oh, I guess, I guess Whip is the one who yoinked it. <sighs> Frosting is definitely the best meal that ever existed. It's so much better than orphanage sludge. I wonder where they grow frosting. Tnyasta, Sherry, way. Whip, food isn't supposed to be lived on. Or lived in. You're supposed to. Just because you're smaller than it. <laughs> Cash. Swing, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Elef Naru? Nuh uh. Because they don't even make cakes that big, so I would not. Although, if we can't ever get our hands on a frosting tree, then we could talk. 
Excuse me, lady, where do I go grab, uh, buy really fancy bras? You... What do you need a, What do you need a bra for? Oh, it's not for me, it's for my special friend! My, aren't you a little young for... And why are you just choosing to ask me this? Well, you're the one with the fanciest un the fanciest underwear. Who washed it? Whip checked. <laughs> Jeez, was she ever grouchy? Well, this is definitely the place. Inside is our ticket to a grun disaster. Yes. Let's go now. Remember, incognitious. <laughs> Free you went. Yeah, incognito. We're just a couple of normal everyday brawl shopping kids. Just blend right in, keeping it cool. Oh my gosh! Your little pet is so cute! Trish, come look at this! Wow, adorable! Let me snap, snap a scroll pick. He's so cute! Look at him! Wash! Kaka! <laughs> yes, look right at him for a while. Shrimp! <laughs> Keep it up, uh, um, Fluffy. I've never seen one before! What is he? Where did your mom get him? Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me go find her and, and check. Mom! Mom! Of course, they're all a thousand feet off the ground. No consideration for the age-impaired. Typical. Uh, hello, um, is there anything I can help you with today? No, no thanks, I'm just browsing, uh, I'm a respectable browser. Okay, just give a call if you need anything. This is why I quit babysitting. Mm, what a great selection. Enjoyable. Alright, this one looks pretty good. Might as well start a pile and narrow it down later. I'll just... Hmm. How are these things supposed to... What is it, like a puzzle? Stupid straps. Maybe you're just supposed to yank. Um, uh, maybe Vi wants the display stand with it anyways. If she can keep it away from Grun. <laughs> well, that should be enough to choose from. Now to parachute down to WOMP! Effective. Nah, no, too sparkly, too frilly, ew, too masculine. What kind of bra is masculine? Who wouldn't want Vi to get Vi a boy's bra by mistake? But these other ones are so girly. She's not really all girly, just... <sighs> Shopping is so hard. Perfect! Now I just have to hide this and we're out of here. Eh, kind of obvious. Hmm. Nope. Ugh. Ew, no! I can't believe this, no matter how sneaky and amazing I am, I'd wind up looking stupid! I, I can't hide this all myself anywhere! Oh no, what if I get caught? Guilty, I hereby send you to a thousand years in prison forever! Wait, come on, what about all, all that crap about the innocence of children, right? Huh? No! I can't believe I'm trapped in prison, my whole life is gone! No more orphanage, no schoolwork, no chores, no grun- Well... Oh, I just had to use my wits to get out of here. I'll think up something super persuasive to smooth out with whip and the bra. And these awesome socks. When did he grab socks? I was about to grab something compelling. Logical, subtle. Bugs! Oh my god, bugs everywhere, run! Whip does not believe him. Get him off me, get him off me! Did they not see him just run off with the bra? <sighs> Whew. Lucky they were too distracted looking for bugs to chase us. Oh, I'm sorry, and when did you become the plausible sheriff? Or plausibility sheriff? Pooya! Shirkatekna, it didn't go that bad. We got the bra, didn't we? You're just grumpy because you were the girl diversion. Meh, Rengi! Well, keep an eye out for symptoms, I guess, but cooties aside, at least we found a, a use for your girl magnetism. There's a silver lining to even the worst problems sometimes. Mm, and yeah. Oh no you don't! I know what you're thinking, but we had our half of the cake earlier. This is a surprise for- Nah! Nah! Wreck it! Oh, you just want to see how it's doing! Well... You're right, I never smelled a walnutty undertone, but now that you mention it... Mushra! Well, my pocket is a little funky, maybe a tiny quality test will be okay. Wafrash! See how that and there'd be some left if we only ate a little bit. Radnesta! Yeah, good point! Plus Vi does hate the color pink. Shrekna! And... Hey, wait a minute! Your share was just a little bigger than mine. Let me just... Ah. 
Well, that's all the same clump. I can't... Fine, take a little more. There'll still be plenty for Vi. That's way too much! Now I have to... Eat more to balance it out. <laughs> Plurbit Shred, we're factoring the frosting ratio in. The original deal was I get the outside and you get the... Eh, verbally. I guess that's fair, but see, now I have to... Now what's happening here? So his ankle's shot and the coach still won't put me on first string. It's not like I'm even an it's like I'm not even an option. I keep telling you you're not low enough with your blocking. Seriously, you hit like a girl out there. Oh hey, there goes Chlorotha. Did you notice the Yeah, same outfit. I said, yeah, outfit, sure. We should probably start learning to talk to girls. You said it. <laughs> you're better off learning how to Use a zoom lens the way you two obsess over superficial appearances is just pointless. <laughs> you will grow cleavage! Hey guys, wait up! Oh, hi Vi, you're walking home with us today? Sure, us orphans need to stick together, right? Speaking of which, did you see Mace around school at all? Huh? Nah, he's probably busy raiding the market today or something, I don't know. Well, uh, I'm worried about the or something. He's on the warpath to get revenge against Grunge again. No, don't make me so so you a skirt. May as well just piss Grunt off, get punished, and then have to continue, and then have to continue the cycle with more revenge. You figured it out too. Just glad I'm not involved. So once I turn some heads at the workshop seminar, my designs will catch on fast. They'll just stand out so much f from what's available now. I mean, have you ever seen a decent pair of digigrade pants? Yeah, digigrade pants. Well. When you're rolling in the fame, save some pants for us, okay? Oh, I'll, I'll drop the whole wardrobe just for for you, Narp. When Grun starts paying me for my dock work, it'll only be a matter of time before I can afford the seminar. <laughs> Grun paying? You're not expecting, like, money payment. Yeah, well, there's other forms of payment. Just look at us and Narp. He, he carries our books for us. I do tall things for them. We do short things for him. And we respect his sock drawer organization for the day he starts using them. I no longer live in constant fear, only partial fear. Meanwhile... So how exactly did your sock drawer factor into any of this? NARP? This conversation is over. Um... I'm not sure I understand what's happening here. Is it because they... Uh, if, is it because they messed up one of the socks? What happened? After you, Vi. Why, thank you, Narp. Well, that was chivalrous. Or chivalrous. I've never really been able to say that word the right way. I apologize. Not really. Just a test run. A what? If Mace has any traps laid around here, I don't want to be the first to know. You guys go on ahead. You're waiting until it's safe? These weeds, they keep growing back. <laughs> right. Mace! Mace, you back yet? Whip. Whoosh thump. Whoosh thump. Whoosh thump. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Got a test. My trap could be anywhere. Not even I know where it is. Say, so where is my trap? Right. Well, why don't we go cover that topic in my studio? Plus, we can exchange the, uh, you know. You did get it. Yep, follow me. Ditch that thing. It was Whip's idea. Okay, Mace, the nylons are freaking me out. Explain. You mean my new socks? I can't leave space at the end of the toe and use it to test for invisible trip wires. What? Are these just stockings? Plus, there's... They're all snug and clingy? Best socks ever! Nah, you'll get your turn. <sighs> it's embarrassing enough being an orphan maze. Don't make it worse. Huh? What do you mean? I, uh... I mean, we're walking right by Grun's office. Hide those or you could lose your secret edge. Ooh, good point. You're always so smart, Vi. We're called girls. So about my bra. It's sash in a safe place here, but first, a little bonus to sweeten the deal. Be still, my heart. Alright, let me just... Is that a whole cake? But we... I mean, we didn't eat that much whip. Didn't you save any? <laughs> it 
Ew! If that's where you kept the cake, where have you been keeping the bra? Does that mean you don't want cake? Because I could always... Alright, here it is. Yes! Now, if any clerks showing up, show up looking for bugs... For the bugs kid, you don't know me. Wow, it's definitely, you know, a bit... We got you the biggest, bestest one in the whole store! <laughs> sure enough there? What do you think? I mean, is it good enough? Well, it... <laughs> I'm flattered! Yeah, you guys did awesome, thanks! Ah, shows you how much you know Mr. Mr. Floral Patterns will soften the contours. D I can always rely on you two. Well, they certainly tried, but why does Whip know about floral patterns? Alright, so, where's the trap? Feel like giving the planks? You're standing on it. I'm... This is it? The planks right through here aren't resting on a, a crossbeam? Grunt's heavy enough that he'll fall right through. Just lure him here and he's in the ocean like you wanted. So he just... falls? There's no catapult or like a giant wooden fist? I was expecting more, you know... stuff. Well, I'm real sorry my trap making can't equal your brawl selection skills. Don't worry! Don't worry too much, at least you did your best. Great! Well, this ought to help you about as much as it helped me. Whiff, did you hear that? This brawl's gonna help us a ton, but how? Yeah, huh? Pull the other one. But it's already set up! You guys don't have to do a thing! You can wave I love grunt flags for all I care, just come watch! I really don't think anyone's gonna change their mind, Mace. Yeah, I'm not. Just ask Narp. But it's... <sighs> What if I could guarantee snacks? Feeling fuel, me and Whip could found this bake sale for orphans. Right in the market. If you watch, I promise I'll get I'll set you up with some pie or cake or Oh please. You can't fool us twice after yesterday's salad. There's no bake sale and the cake is a lie. Yeah, 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 hick. Oh yeah? So what do you think of that? Explain the cherry. Ah, oh, sick. I wonder if he spit the cherry out right then because of the, the cake is a lie joke. Won't anything convince you guys? Schnee, schnee, schnee. Listen, Maze, you can't expect this to. Don't trigger it! What? Where do you. Do you have any idea how close you were to setting it off? You made your trap on my wardrobe? Uh, I've got traps rigged on like every square inch of the orphanage. Yeah! That's why I want you guys outside, but if you really want to wander around in here, I guess I can't change your mind. Try not to scream too loud, though. I don't want to tip off Grun. Uh, in theory, if I did feel like leaving, are there any traps between here and the gangway? Good point. The pincers are all set up in the... Wait, would you be so kind as to lead the survivors to the safe zone? Nah. Let's see now. Get picked on at school and yelled at for telling the teachers all day, and then I come home to Grun. If that's not enough, my room is stuffed with death traps and my roommate is crazy and I hear... And that hears voices when he talks to his pet. And the only broom in his whole place has stubby, stiff bristles. Well, look on the bright side. Which is... I get to hear my guidance counselor tell me how imaginative I am. Now what's being talked about? Oh, it's him. As the blazing sentinel moon dips watchfully into the undulating oceans of fate, the fateful showdown of shell-shocking, surefire, sheer shock draws ever more increasingly imminent in time. One, built for death. The other, builder of death. The cataclysmic conflict curtails all codes of conduct, and we, like the triumvirate of justice, only more in number, send watch in stoic silence. Starting when? Nope. <laughs> all right. I've got the trap laid, hidden the blunt and sharp objects from view, and Whip is positioning the audience. Now all I have to do is get Grun to chase me like a maniac. So getting him to stop smothering his chair... Huh, how hard is it to provoke child... St child stomper? I could... <sighs> how am I supposed to think when the concourse can't hide their candy very well? What? Meanwhile... Uh-huh. That ain't for you, that's my box. You know, my, uh, private's box, it ain't for ki- What are you doing? Mace, put down my porn. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that was the only thing I ever categorized in my whole life. No, nah, no. Nah. First my- First my ex-wife and now you! Ah! 
Man, we're never gonna get to see a naked chick. It's not fair, I- Oh, awesome! What the- Oh, sick! So that's a lot of sounds of him falling through the, uh... The things- Ha ha ha! I told you! I did it! Yeah, well... Yeah, but what do you think he's gonna do when he gets down? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> and then she rolls up. I get paid by the hour. Okay, now it's now it's now it's switching back to Lilith and the Ma. So her name is Lilith, right? I've been saying Lilith, and I keep thinking that I'm wrong. I'm honestly not sure. But in any case, this has been an Ashi Sasuke. This was, I think, episode four of Let's Read Prelude. And the next episode, some more Lilith and Dimash shenanigans are happening. And if her name's not actually Lilith and I'm just stupid, let me know, because I am honestly not sure. That being said, thanks for watching. If you liked it, a like and subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things. And I will see y'all in the next one. Later.